What's up y'all, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can recreate this trippy echo tinted effect. This is a really cool effect that's common in music videos and just adds some spice to your videos and just makes things feel more vibrant and motion-like. It's a really simple effect. Today we'll just be using After Effects, actually CC 2021, because I've been having some pretty prominent issues with these new updates. Like seriously, Adobe needs to get down these updates because every time they update it, I swear it just keeps getting worse and worse. Like almost all of my plugins just do not work with like new version of 2022 and I have to use like Rosetta and it's just like a whole mess that I just like come on guys fix this come on we'll just be using After Effects today to recreate this effect if you guys are new to this channel please make sure that you like and subscribe it's free all this content is free so it'd really mean a lot if you guys could but let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial all right, so now that we are loaded into After Effects CC 2021, um, I honestly don't know if it works different for yours. Like the plugins that we're just gonna be using is just Omino. It's a free one, I'll link to it below. You can download it for After Effects. You just have to make sure that it's installed while After Effects is closed and then reopen it and it should apply. But for some reason, it just does not work on my After Effects 2022, which is, I don't know, it's just really weird, but I am back on 2021 and 2021 worked perfectly for me. So why not? First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer. So I hit Command D to duplicate. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to roto brush this. So we are going to double click on this layer. For those of you who know how to roto brush, this will come you know, easy to you. For those of you who don't, we're just going to you know select this roto brush icon right here, hold Option to delete and just regular to uh, select. And we're just gonna draw these, oops. We're just gonna draw these green lines over our subject that we want selected. And then what we're uh, basically just gonna do is we're just gonna drag forward throughout the timeline and make sure that every part of our subject is selected. If there is a part that it messes up on, we can use like these trees right here. We don't want them. Hold option on the red and then, uh, you know, just deselect them and then pretty much just keep dragging. But it's a very simple process. There's loads more Roto brush videos on YouTube if you're still having issues with doing it. But for now, I'll just speed this part up. Perfect, so now that we have roto brushed everything of our subject, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this freeze icon. And basically what this is gonna do is this is just gonna lock in every single one of our roto brush frames. So this will take a minute, so I'll just speed it up. Great, so now that everything's frozen, we can basically come back to this original composition layer right here. And if we select the visibility off on the bottom layer, you can see our entire subject is rotoscoped out. We can do, to get rid of this white edging, we can just uh, de increase, my bad, decrease the shift edge right here to about a, a percentage that works best for your footage until a lot of the edge is you know cut off. And then once we put it back, we have this now separate, completely separate rotoscoped uh, subject. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start applying our effects. So to do this, we're gonna have to have two versions of our rotoscope layer. So what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate this again, Command D on the rotoscope layer. So now if we turn off the background, we have two rotoscoped layers. What this, where the effects are gonna come in is that they're gonna be applied on this middle layer. We're gonna come over here and to create this echo effect, we are going to type in echo. And echo will come up right here and we're just gonna drag it to our middle layer. And now you can see we're kind of already getting some effects going on. It looks like we got a duplicate and we can go ahead and just turn off this top layer and this bottom layer for now. So now everything is kind of looking a little bit trippy, but uh, we're just gonna fix this right here. So this right here, the echo time is basically uh, the delay. And it's like the amount of seconds gonna delay the, the last frame. This value right here, 0 0.33 is pretty decent. I'm just gonna move it to like about something, maybe like five, five, three. I think that honestly works for me. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase this number of echoes to around six or seven. I'm gonna go with six, and as you can see, it depends on your footage. It comes out a little bit crazy like this because it's on add mode. So to change this, we're gonna come over here to echo operator and change this to composite and back. And basically what that did now is all the footage is behind our beginning uh, subject. Now, if you look at this, we have a whole bunch of our subjects just echoing. And it's pretty crazy. I am actually going to decrease this to about maybe 0 0.3, just because I think 0 0.53 is a little bit too long for uh, this effect and this movement. So it's it's gonna take a quite a few, it's gonna take quite a bit rendering power, but um, if you can just like, you know, load through it or play back on a 
half resolution, it should help improve the quality. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna come over here back to our effects and presets and we're gonna type in Gaussian. Gaussian blur. And we're gonna drag this Gaussian blur all the way to our middle layer once again. And we can increase this to about like 13, 13, 12, 12, 12 works honestly. And basically this is just gonna help add some, you know, blur uh, in a sense like fake artificial motion blur. And now if we turn back on our original background layer and we turn on our front opening layer, we can see the echo effect really coming into play here. We have the echo, we don't have like the effect, the colors, the vibrancy, the parts that you know, really wrap the effect together. What we're gonna do to fix this is we're gonna basically just change the blending mode of this middle layer. So in After Effects 2021, I keep forgetting the format's different. To change the blending layer, you have to come over here to layer and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit blending mode and then you have all your blending layers right here. So I'm gonna first start this off with something like add, see what this, this does to it. So add creates this like kind of go ghostly trail to it. It's a little bit bright. It, personally for this one, uh, we have like a very bright background sky setting. So I'm just going to you know, move away from this one and just select a different blending mode. We come back over here and try overlay. I honestly think overlay probably works for this effect. Now that we have our effect looking more like a ghost trail effect, and obviously you can increase the settings if you don't like yours or, you know, or change the decay. There's so many settings that you can change right here within this uh, echo effect to just, you know, create the effect uh, yours. Also, yeah, this decay, here we go. Decay, I'm just gonna decrease this down to about like 80, 80, 0.84. And that just adds this ghostly motion to it. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna come back over here to our effects and presets and we're gonna type in tint. Now we're gonna take this tint and we're gonna drag this to our middle layer, of course. And now everything kind of just went black and white as our ghost. And what's cool about this is just, you can just change the color of it basically and just create different looks and styles for your effect. So I'm gonna try to go with like a pinkish look here and that just, the black changed the black values and the white over here is just gonna change the white values of course. So now we have two different colors and you can see we're kind of getting a coolish looking effect here and obviously this is where the blending modes come and play and just you know messing around with the settings please don't copy these tutorials i always encourage this in my videos do not copy these tutorials down to the nitty-gritty details have fun with it change the settings make the effect your own and just i mean ultimately have fun <laughs> now that we have our tint applied what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to our effects and presets and we're going to type in glow and now this is this is like honestly been my favorite go-to for the past few tutorials what we're gonna do uh you can see it just kind of like look like it harshened everything we can turn off this front layer right now if you want to just get a better view this made everything a little bit more harsh and direct what we're gonna do to to fix this is we're just gonna increase the threshold a little bit tad bit and then the radius uh we're gonna increase that to like 100 and that's gonna add some glow to it like like it just makes it feel a lot more like gloomy and faded and then this intensity obviously just controls how bright the glow is i'm gonna change that to like about two and like i said depends on your footage depends on your video everybody is different so that is pretty much the basic premise of the effect if you would like to add to this or you know change it some recommendations i would say is the omnia plugin that i mentioned earlier all right, so now that we are back, we are actually back in 2022 After Effects. I'm just gonna be continuing on this tutorial. Omnio has been just kind of causing me quite a few issues, even with 2022 and 2021. It's a cool visual synthesizer. It just really makes things look a lot cooler and just adds you know, another layer of visual effects. So like I said, I'll link down to it below in the plugins. But unfortunately, guys, for this tutorial, sorry, but we won't be able to use it or apply it. If you would like to spice up this echo effect, like I said, you can add turbulence displays. And this is also just another fun one that you can apply. We're gonna apply this to our middle layer again. And basically what this does, is it just makes everything kind of like trippy and bubbly. And now you can come over here, you can change the amount, you can change the size and just create like really crazy stuff with the options and settings that you have available. So I'm gonna create something like size about 73, amount about 468. And now you can see we kind of got these really cool, crazy like purple cloud things going on here. And there we pretty much have our echo effect. Here is the final result.
If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope after this, you'll be able to walk away with a cool effect that you can apply to your music videos and future projects. Please make sure to leave a comment down below for any future suggestions or ideas that you have for us. Please remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet and turn on notifications for future videos like this. If you guys want more content like this, or would like to reach out to us, remember to follow us on Instagram at 11%prod. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.